Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm going to show you how to back focus an XD Cam EX camcorder. You may be wondering why or when you want to do a back focus adjustment on your camera. Well, when you first get it, you're going to zoom throughout that focal range and find it's very sharp. As in, you zoom in, it's sharp, and you zoom out, and it's also very sharp. But over time, your back focus could drift just through normal use and bumping and travel and so on. And, that, and what will happen is you zoom in, it's nice and sharp, you zoom out, and it's soft. So uh, this is a sign the back focus could be off. Again, zoomed in, nice and sharp, you zoom out, a little soft. So there could be an issue uh, that you're, that, of back focus. And on most lenses, uh, ENG and otherwise, you can actually do the back focus uh, on the camera, on the lens itself. But with the lenses that come with the XD Cam EX camcorders, I have to actually do the adjustment in the camera. There's a motor that actually moves that back focus element around in there, and so the camera controls all of that. Now, to do this procedure, I have to set up a couple different things. So there's a couple steps here. Step one is to set up the scene, as in I want to be in a very bright, lit area uh, with plenty of contrast. Uh, so here I have lights on, but if you're outside, that'll work as well during the day, of course. Next step is to put the camera on a tripod, make it very stable and make it straight on to a chart. Uh, a chart can be an, an, any of a number of different things. Uh, preferably, of course, to have a nice uh, Siemens star or a fiddlehead type chart to look at. Uh, this is a DSC Labs chart. If you don't have one of these, print one off the internet or even just utilize something of very high contrast. Black and white uh, text on, uh, on paper would work. You just got to have a lot of contrast because the camera utilizes its autofocus engine to determine what is in focus and what is not, and high contrast works the best. Uh, that being said, we also want to light that chart as best we can uh, to help the camera find focus throughout that range. So again, light up the chart. I want to be about eight feet away from this chart, set the camera on the sticks, and I'm, I'm good to go. The next step is to adjust my lens. Now the lens has a couple different modes on it, uh, first being the, I have the ability to uh, have a zoom servo on or off. This is the motor that makes the zoom move. I make sure it's actually on. This way the camera can control the lens motion. I need to have that on and enabled for that, for that to work. So there's a little switch on the bottom of the 350 as well as the EX3 and the 1. Additionally, I need to have my focus ring here pushed forward. On, on all of the ca cameras, I have the ability to be in a full manual mode or auto mode. I need to be in this auto manual mode here forward. And when, it, when it's like that, it'll spin forever. Again, when I do this, because I'm putting it in that auto type mode, the camera can control the lens, which is very important for this process. So, servo on, ring forward. That's that. Next, we're going to set up the camera's format. Uh, most important uh, in this step is that the camera be in a 1080 60i format. Why? Well, it does better at sampling in that particular uh, mode. So, to do that on the 350, jump in the menus. I go to Operation, Format, System Line 1080, System Frequency 5994i. That's what I need to do there. On the 3, similar but in a different menu, of course. Jump out, go to the Others menu, go on the Others into Video Format, and again, HQ 1080 60i. Once that's set, my, my format is good to go. Now. Now, I have, all I have to do is go and run my back focus procedure. In the menus, the back focus procedure is called auto FB adjust. This is auto flange back focus adjustment, basically. Uh, and that's hidden in different menus and different cameras. On the 350, it's in a menu called maintenance and then lens. And you'll see it there, auto FB adjust. Uh, and then on the 3, it's actually a little simpler to get to, just in that lens menu there, the lens icon, and then the first one, auto FB adjust. On the 1 and the 1R, the EX1 and the EX1R, uh, this is a hidden menu item. You actually have to enable the hidden menus, and it's one of the first items in there as well. So you can do the same procedure on all three. But follow the same steps on all the cameras in terms of the setting of the scene up, the lens up, and so on for it to be enabled. Now, you may notice if it's grayed out, uh, you may have it'll go gray if your servo is not enabled. So it actually is pretty smart. If your lens is not set up the way it's meant to be, it just won't function. So um, again, make sure all those steps are done before this. Now we're ready to actually run the auto FB adjust procedure. Go ahead and do it here. 
and just push enter and all set up it's going to do its thing zoom in focus refocus and zoom back out again and there we go now it, it, it did well for me because i lit it up but if i don't have it lit up right it may fail uh it also could just air out completely now don't be uh, persuaded the wrong way don't give up try it again adjust your lighting and do the procedure again once it's achieved the focus throughout the range, check it once, zoom in, zoom out, make sure you're in focus. Again, if, you, if it still seems to be off, run it again. Uh, it's not right every time, so you have to just keep adjusting things until you get it right. Uh, don't give up, It'll, it will do it eventually. If there's a problem, then bring it in for service, get it checked out as possible, your lens has a problem, but most likely it's just a simple procedure will solve a lot of your issues. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.